Hi John Modlers! This week we're going to make a paper airplane. And we're gonna use card cereal box as ever. And we're gonna hold it together with JFix corners. So first of all we're gonna make them and then we are going to test them. What are you making? A sort of a plane with boosters. And Orsi, what are you doing? I'm trying like a TIE fighter wing. A TIE fighter? Wow. Do you think it's going to fly? <laughs> well, the boys are just finishing theirs. I will show you a really simple one. This is just your two paper dart wings. And all we do is push. And we've got this uh, spline down the middle. Just push it together like that. Push that one in like that. Push that one in like that. Look. Look. Thank you, there's the other half. So we've got half a dart. Then we push that in like that. And that one in like that. And we have got a paper dart. So we've got TIE Fighter wings, Orson's made. And so he's cut a little slot in his end wing and put a JFX corner in. Wow! Wow! So Hector has made a sort of... It's a bit like a Transformer, a bit like a Star Wars X-Wing. It's a bit of everything, really. And it's got... Boosters on the sides. Oh, boosters under the wi Boosters underneath the wings. Oops, there. And... There. Feels quite heavy, but we're going to see what happens when it flies, aren't we? Oh no, there's a spy. Hector's a very good spy. Sort of. I poked my head out of there. You are the noisiest spy. The walls is done. He's made like a bottom wing to go underneath. And he's just put two Dreyfus corners with slots into it. So he can push this on top and make it into an aeroplane. So these are the darts going from normal dart through to TIE Fighter and X-Wing. First of all, we're going to do the standard paper dart. Not bad. And this is Orson's TIE Fighter. <laughs> they look break. brilliant, they but it didn't break and they both look brilliant. Modified. Taken off the cockpit that was heavy, replaced it with a ring. We have added in, on the bottom, a spline here, which, and we put weight on the front, so it's more like a dart. Yes! X-Wing. Paper darts. Yes. Here we go. Oops! <laughs> At least it went really far! It was, one half went really far! All we've done so added a little tip on it, which is held on by two corners, makes it a bit stronger there. And we've joined these two back bits together with an extra bit of wing area. Oh! <laughs> right, it's gone down a bit. So now we're going to try the cereal packet and Junko Corners paper dart with two little weights at the front. Alright, ready? Here we go. Woo. We have done the top as one piece. Then we have just cut slots, so we can put our spline in down here, just one piece, like that. Bit of weight at the front, chop the tip off so it doesn't get bent. These wings are just bent up at the edges. Let's see how this goes. Ooh. So that's our card darts, not quite paper, card. Yeah. We learned a lot, didn't we? We made things streamlined, we made them pointy. And we put spines on the bottom. Always just put the bottom. Seems to stop it going like that. So why not have a go at home? See what you can make. Don't have to use JFix corners. You can slot bits of card together and get inventive in other ways. Take care. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.